Hey Virgo, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Five of Pentacles. This person's feeling left out by you. They want to come towards you. What's the mutual energy? What's the mutual energy? Six of Wands. You both want to move forward. The Six of Wands is the card of marriage, commitment, right? Taking things to high levels of commitment, wanting to move forward, getting attention. This is uh, success, victory. Okay, so you both want the same thing. What action will this person take? What action will Virgo take towards this person? Six of Swords. You can't move on, baby. You can't. You miss them. But at the same time, with the Queen of Swords in reverse, you're, you're being very, um, you're very pissed off with them, okay? You're really bitter towards them. You could have done this with this person, like I said, right? Over and over again. Communication is just not helping. But you're being very cold and detached right now, okay? Or this could be the kind of person you're dealing with, okay? Who's very cold, detached, but I'm picking this as you, okay? Someone who's just not being able to forgive and someone who's not being able to move on, okay? You're stuck. But this person... Due to communication problems or the way this person communicates with you, right? It's caused a lot of bitterness within you. You're being very negative. Five of Swords in reverse. Reconciliation. But two of Wands here. You'll have to make a decision. Someone's going to have to make a decision, okay? You're going to be at a crossroads. That does look like you to me, okay? Because this person is done playing mind games. They're done sabotaging the connection. They're done pushing you away due to fear. Whatever this is, right? Someone who's very, very guarded. They're letting their guards down finally. They're wanting to come towards you or you're wanting to come go towards them. Whatever. Take it how it resonates. Okay. Energies can be flipped. I'm just going to read it the way I see it. All right. All right, baby. Tell me about the sun. What is this sun about? Why is this the overall energy? Why is the sun the overall energy for Virgo? Six of swords. Yeah. See, this is forward movement here. It could also be with the Six of Swords and the Sun here, right? There is clarity. Someone's wanting to move towards their happiness, okay? Move towards clearer water. Give me one more card for the Sun and the Six of Swords. What is the Sun and Six of Swords? Avoiding a disaster. So there could have been a breakup between you guys, okay? With the judgment here, it looks like there's a reconciliation coming up for you guys. The Sun and Six of Swords looks like you're moving towards your happiness, okay? So someone's ready to move towards you, okay? Because they look at you as their happiness. They want growth expansion with you. And with the tower in reverse, if this person's wanting to avoid a disaster. So they feel that if they're going to be away from you, it's going to be really screwed up, okay? They don't want to do that. They want to avoid this disaster, okay? Which means they don't want this breakup to happen or the separation or whatever's happened between you guys. They don't want to let it continue, okay? They want to come towards you. They want to stop you from completely letting them go is what I'm hearing, okay? They're moving towards you. They want to get into calmer waters, okay? And that's the kind of illumination. That's the clarity that's coming in. What's the nine of wands? Why, why are you the nine of wands, Virgo? Why is the nine of wands here? Yeah, the moon. You're keeping your feelings to yourself. You're very, very guarded towards this person. You're keeping the feelings to yourself. With the world here, looks like there's been a cycle that's ended between you guys. You've closed out a cycle with this person, okay? Why is the king of pentacles in reverse here? Why is the king of pentacles in reverse on this person's mind that Virgo is dealing with? The fool in reverse. Yeah, see, this person is not wanting to take a risk, okay? They think you're risky business or they have trust issues with you. Seven of cups. Yeah, I thought this person wants to keep their options open, but I'm getting more like this person's very confused, okay? Too many thoughts, too many tabs open there in their head, okay? They don't know what is the right choice to make. Like, this person is very delusioned right now is what I'm getting, okay? They just don't know what to do. And they're at a standstill right now. They're not making any moves towards you. Only because with the fold and reverse here, they have trust issues, okay? They think something's risky business. All right. Tell me about the two of cups here. Why is this in Virgo's feeling? Why is the two of cups here in Virgo's feelings? Yeah, you want this person to take action with the two of cups and king of wands here, all right? You want this person to come towards you. You want them to lead, take the lead in the relationship or there is a lot of love between you guys, okay? You feel very connected because the two of cups is a strong soulmate connection and you're very passionate about them. I feel you're waiting for this person to come towards you, okay? We have the six of pentacles here. You want an equal give and take, okay? You want reciprocity in this relationship, which was not there before. Tell me about the chariot. Why is the chariot on this person's feelings? This is someone who's willing and determined to move forward. But towards you are three of swords. Yeah, see, this person's hurting, okay? There's been a huge heartbreak with this person here. With the nine of pentacles here, this person probably is choosing to be single. Oh, okay, looks like a cross watcher reading. Looks like this is the cross watch and this is whatever, right? Let's see. But um, 
I'm gonna read it the way it is, all right? So yeah, this, okay, let's say, this person out here is very, very guarded, okay? And they're keeping their feelings to themselves. Whilst this person in their mind here, now they're very focused on themselves and they feel it's risky, okay? It's very risky to move towards you, Virgo. In your feelings, you love this person very, very much. You want a relationship with them and you want to take the lead role out here, okay? You want to move towards this person. You want to take action because you're zoned in on them. This person out here is choosing to move forward here with the chariot here because there's too much emotional trauma, too much emotional distress going on, okay? This person, six of swords, reverse your Virgo, which is you, you're wanting, the action you'll take is you're wanting to return back to this person, okay? Why is the six of swords in reverse here? We did see the knight of cups here. So yeah, Virgo, you have a lot of love for this person, okay? You're ready to open up, wanting to be emotionally available, okay? Why is the six of swords in reverse here? Seven of Pentacles, yeah, baby. You want to work on this connection, okay, with the Seven of Pentacles here. But it's like you've put in a lot of work, but right now you're at that contemplation phase. You're trying to reevaluate the situation and see where it's going, okay? With the Knight of Swords in reverse here, you're holding back communication. You want to talk to this person, you can't move on, okay? But at the same time, you're waiting and watching. Um, tell me about the Moon in reverse here. Why is this Moon in reverse and this person's action? Why is the Moon in reverse here? Guys, roles can be reversed. Do not put in the comments below. You know, something. King of Pentacles in reverse again. Yeah, see? Something has been revealed, which is shutting this person off. Okay, so there's been some secret that has been revealed. Something that was hidden has been revealed. Or there's some truth that is finally out in the open, which is forcing this person to shut down completely. Okay? Seven of Swords. Yeah, so there could be a lot of cheating, lying, deception out here. Okay? There was some kind of sneaky behavior that's come out in the open or there was just someone here who's trying to run away from the feelings or someone who's just being an escapist, okay? And this person has that realization now, okay? They have clarity about a situation and they're choosing to shut off and keep to themselves. It's a very straightforward reading out here, okay? It is. I really feel that this is the Virgo and this is the people you're, this is the person you're dealing with, but whatever. Tell me about the Six of Wands here. Tell me about the Six of Wands here. Why is the Six of Wands here? Apply for the Six of Wands as the mutual energy. Ace of Swords, yeah. The mutual energy, we both want communication, okay. Now two ways, Six of Wands and the Ace of Swords. This is the mutual energy. I can see it two ways. Either this is one person here feeling it more than the other, okay. But there is someone here who wants a breakthrough in this relationship and wanting to move forward, okay. Wanting to move forward successfully, victoriously in the relationship, okay. Which is this person. This person out here with the Six of Wands and Ace of Swords is someone who wants closure that's all they give a fuck about okay this person all they want is closure okay they just want to know what the truth was or why did this happen or just what happened okay clear okay just clear the communication and with the six of wands here this person is wanting to move forward but move away from you okay two of wands yeah they're coming back they're coming back after there's been a painful ending between you guys with the ten of swords here right after you're feeling backstabbed betrayed cheated whatever to this person this person's coming back to you for a reconciliation okay it's going to be up to you whether you want to take them back or not because we have the two of wands here maybe you're going to have to make a decision whether you want them back or not i don't know if you're going to take them back or not okay because you it's a big risk it's a big risk okay for you this is 100 percent across what you're reading okay i think burgos this is not this is um not a cross watcher what i mean is i mean the energies are completely changed See, like, that's why I said, right? The sun and six of swords here. This is clarity coming towards you, okay? And someone wants to fix things, okay? This is the tower in reverse is something that just completely collapsed in a way that you thought that it's never going to be able to be repaired. This person out here, they're coming back to fix things, okay? This person has no choice but to change. They're changing. They're guarded towards you, okay? They're keeping to themselves emotionally, but in their feelings, they want this relationship with you. And they love you. However, Six of Swords in Reverse and the Seven of Pentacles. Give me one more card. Why is the Six of Swords in Reverse and the Seven of Pentacles? Why is the Six of Swords in Reverse and the Seven of Pentacles here? Tell me, why is the Six of Swords in Reverse and the Seven of Pentacles here? Give me one card, please. Your baby Ace of Wands, that's what I said. This is definitely the person you're dealing with, Virgo. Of course, Virgo, you can do this to this person. You could be waiting for a reconciliation if you screwed up with them. Sure. This person, Ace of Wands, yeah, that's why the reconciliation, they want a brand new beginning with you. Clean slate, baby. Yeah, they want to start from the beginning. They want to start from ground zero, whereas you 
are just you don't give a shit to them okay because you're very very hurt by what happened and you're hell-bent on moving forward from this person all right that's what i have for you babies i hope this reading resonates with you if it does do like share subscribe that really helps this channel and leave your comments below don't forget i will see you next time Bye 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 bye